G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. In my last video I showed you my winter shelter and sleep system. So the next one now I'm going to be showing you is what I carry in the winter, uh, my cook system or cook systems. And I'll be giving the reasons why I carry systems, not just one but two. First of all, knife, fork and spoon. See to summit, lightweight, or carabiner, so I can hook it on my belt or anywhere I want and not lose them. And that means that if I'm doing a, a multi day and I end up in a town and I get to camp there and I can go and uh, get a takeaway or something, at least I've got a knife, fork, and a spoon to eat my lunch with, or my dinner with, or my breakfast. You never know, I might get lucky and get some bacon and eggs. So that's them. Let's put them over there now, out of the way. Next is my main cook kit. It's in a little bit of a bigger bag today. It's normally in a smaller one where it fits nice and snug. But I've changed my pot for the one with the bale handle and it's just a little bit awkward to get in and out of the other bag. So I've ordered another one of these from Ultralight Hiker to accommodate only one centimetre wire just so it can accommodate the pot with the bell handle. So I've just got a couple of nearly completely used gas canisters. I just want to use them up. So most important, teaspoon to stir my coffee or my tea with. Next, let's get it all out, it'll be easier than making a noise. Like I said, it's my Toke 750ml pot, which is titanium, with handles on and a bell handle. So with this I've got a choice of either putting it in the fire to heat water, on a little gas stove, I can hang it above the fire also. So, multiple ways of using it on different cook systems. So it's probably one of the most versatile sorts of pots you can get, one with a little bell handle on. And this one with a bell handle on is only a matter of grams heavier than the one without. So it's worth carrying, in my opinion that is. I do bring the lid with me, again with it all being titanium, it is lightweight. But as I've said before, the weight isn't a big thing because the pack I got isn't the lightest, but it's very comfortable. So there's the lid on there. So when I'm boiling water using the gas, I can just save the gas because it'll be more efficient with the lid on. Next is my cup. Again, it's a Tokes Titanium. And this is the 450ml version, which is just a nice size for a coffee in the morning. And again, because it's very little extra weight, I bring the lid too. So if I didn't want to use a large pot, just boil enough for my coffee or my tea, whatever I'm going to have in the morning, I can just put this straight on the stove. Give it a wipe out when I've finished and just pack it all away, a lot easier. So that also means that I can make my coffee when I get to camp and I can use this one whilst I'm drinking my coffee to heat up my meals. So very little weight. Not ultra light, not heavy, but I'd say it's lightweight. So next in my little bag which come, I carry in the cup as well is my little BRS stove. And let's get this all undone. There's been a number of people complain about these. They, they warp, they change shape, this, that, and the other. But in the whole time I've had this, I've never had a problem with it. I've actually got three of these. And this is still the first one. So I'm very happy with these. So if you're thinking of something that's small, 
lightweight, so I'm just watching the ants, small, lightweight, and reliable, this, I think this would be a little BRS stove. So what I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to make myself a, a coffee. So I've got coffee bags today. Yeah, yeah, I've got enough for a coffee. So here's a little BR stove on a canister. I'm just going to use the cup. I always carry two of these. They just sit in the side pockets on the outside of my pack, whether I've got water in them or not. But this one has got water in. I've been carrying four liters to add the weight into my pack. So when I do get a chance to go out, it's not gonna crucify me. And it just helps give me exercise too. And what normally gets carried in my little BRS bag is a mini big lighter. Bit of protein, that's all right. So because I'm never out with this little lighter that long, I think it'll probably last two or three weeks anyway, but I carry a ferro rod to be safe too, so I can always light the gas if my lighter doesn't work. So Now whilst the water's heating up, I'll put the lid on. These little stoves, like I said, I like them. They're, they're not the fastest, they're not like one of your jet bowls or anything like that, or so where they'll boil the water in a matter of seconds sort of thing. But it only takes an extra 20, 30 seconds really to, I don't know, heat a, a couple of cups of water up in the larger pot. And I'm not out here to rush. I'm out here to just relax. So that extra 20 or 30 seconds, I don't mind. The other thing I carry for the winter and winter only is this. Yes, it's adding weight to my pack, but when we're able to have fires again, this is gonna come in really handy because I used it a lot last winter when I was out on my multi-day hikes and it is a titanium one it's a Chinese knockoff if I remember this one doesn't have a name on it oh yeah it's the Tom Shu titanium one this is Just give off some heat, I can feel that warming my legs and everything up. So let me get it put together and just show you. The uh, convex bit, a bit sticking out, goes on the outside. They just slot down together. Again, the convex on the outside, slotted in. This one has got a tab on three sides. So the one without is your front. So we'll slide that in the back there. Close them up. And then fiddle around getting this final piece on. Which wasn't too much of a fiddle. And there is my little singe my hair. Wood burner stove. So what I normally do is I'll get into a camp in the evening and as long as it's not raining or anything I'll, I'll get this set up first and because it's so small you don't need that much wood to keep it going so that's it and I'm a big believer in I've got a decent 
sleep system, uh, decent gear to keep me warm sitting around. But if I sit this close to this, this is all I need as a fire. I don't need a big fire to have a big flames going everywhere where I'm just sitting on my own. And the temperatures are never that bad in the uh, late afternoon. But when you start getting into the, the later evening, the temperatures do drop, but that's normally when I jump in the hammock anyway. But we've got these little crossbars on the top of this, so that fits on there. My oh, hot idiot. There we go. Cup fits on there. I grabbed it with the wrong hand of that one, so I wasn't prepared for that. Actually, that water's hot enough nearly for a coffee, so let's put it back on there. But as you saw, I haven't had this on that long, and I've only got it on low, and it is hot. So and I think I've got a nice burn line going across my fingers there, so I should have grabbed my cloth. And a little tip making your coffee. Just as your bubbles start to come up, put your coffee in then if you've got the granulated coffee. Because as the bubbles rise, it will stir it for you and help mix the coffee in. Yeah, I did burn up, I feel it stinging. What an idiot, aren't I? Right. Choose a stick. There we go. I'll stir it in. Pick my rubbish up. As I say, leave no trace. So getting back to this, if you've got any rubbish, like I've got my uh, the little package of coffee came in, I've got a little wood burning stove going, I could put it in there and less for me to carry out, or less for being forgotten and left laying around. Plus using this as your own personal little fire to keep warm in the evenings. You don't need to collect as much wood. My coffee's hot enough now. Like I you don't need to collect as much wood, as much fuel for it. And also another benefit of carrying this, it still weighs less, so I feel. Not, not much difference in weight between a can of that and this. So, if I wanted to, I could always leave this at home, carry that, and save some weight. But this works out nice, like I said. Have my meals in the evening, keep myself warm. This one I'll probably just normally use in the mornings I do. Make myself a coffee. If I'm not gonna eat, I'll just pack it away and I'll head off after drinking my coffee. So much, much easier. As you can probably see if you've been following my channel, I've got the spin tough now. I'm Bend it that far. But I've been told not to take it too far because it'll just rip all the cuts back open again from the chainsaw. And I keep forgetting that. that. So I've been used to walking around with a splint on my finger like this. So now I'm, I'm picking things up with it and it's taking it too far and it hurts. So the last few days I haven't really been too uh, sensible. Let's show you where I'm sitting.
So that was my winter cook kit. The little BRS stove, my Tokes 450 with lid, my Tokes 750 with bell and lid, which all sits inside of each other. Even my coffee and my teas all fit inside the pot before it goes in the bag. My little mini lighter. And of course, my tea and coffee. So if this is the first time you've been to my channel and you've enjoyed the video, please go down below and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell button so you can be notified of all future videos and also click on that like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. Now, these ants down here have decided to do coming in hordes. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.